A second state of emergency since April. Japan's announced that the Tokyo metropolitan area, some 35 million people, will face tougher restrictions to stem a surge in COVID-19 cases. Numbers are 10 times higher than in the spring. Starting Friday in Tokyo and three neighboring prefectures, restaurants and bars will close at 8 p.m. and people will be asked to stay home. Other businesses will have to trim their hours. Companies are encouraged to have employees work from home. Schools will remain open for now, unlike the last state of emergency. Overall, these new restrictions are more relaxed than April. This noodle restaurant has been in Junko Nankane's family for 26 years. Now she has to close at her usual peak time, the after work crowd. Yeah. We'd lose money if we open. It costs money even to switch the lights on. I will have to see what happens and think about continuing to operate at night. The restrictions will run through February 7th, but some medical experts say they are not severe enough to substantially reduce the numbers. And there's growing concern that the healthcare system could be overwhelmed. Tokyo has borne the brunt of a third wave of coronavirus that's hit Japan, accounting for about half of all the cases over the last several weeks. Of the new cases, most are people in their 20s. With the rescheduled Olympics just months away, Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga had hoped to ride the balance of curbing the outbreak while stoking an ailing Japanese economy, the third largest in the world. But his approval rating has been battered by his government's COVID-19 response. In order to enhance the economic economy, particularly service sector, particularly in areas like you know traveling, um, and um, I would say hotels and restaurants, uh, I think the government had been pushing a, a little bit too early, a little bit too much, and uh, I think people have realized that, and we're regressing back into the a bit of the uh, our dark times when we used to get the first wave of pandemic. <laughs> So it might take a bit more than cheerleaders at a Tokyo train station to lift the spirits at the start of what will be a long month for many. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera. Nancy Snow is a professor of public diplomacy at Kyoto University of Foreign Studies, and she thinks the one-month restrictions won't make a difference. They didn't move fast enough on this. Uh, one of the... Uh, uh, focuses was on the economy and this was a shift away from virus containment to traveling throughout Japan. This started a few months ago with this go-to travel and uh, that was suspended just in the last few weeks. But I think the for the Japanese people there was a sense of complacency. Uh, we all are wearing our masks. Again, that's voluntary. Uh, the social distancing, though, was rather weak here. There were large crowds gathering over New Year's, uh, people going out to see the Christmas lights, going to the Tokyo Christmas market, mobs of people all with their masks on, but that's not enough. And I'm not sure if just this one month uh, restriction, a uh, so-called soft lockdown, will really make that much of a difference. I think it will get tied to whether or not the Tokyo Olympics are going to go forward. Um, it, it looks like they will, but it will be substantially different than what we anticipated last year with the postponement decision.